great. This is what you want. Day your daughter's getting married. Uh. Your ex waking up on the sofa in his pants. God, where am I? Manchester. Uh, who's getting married? Eva? Leanne. Oh, God. I feel like someone's hit me with a pickaxe. Oh, don't you remember? Oh, did we, uh... Oh, dear God, no. <laughs> no, 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 just joking. Yeah, 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 total recall. I came in here to get something. Must have shut my eyes. Right, we better up it then. Well, isn't there a bit of toast going begging? <laughs> Let her make your toast. Oh, she always burns it. I miss your toast. The way you buttered it, the texture, it's just right. You walked away from my toast, Carl. You took my toast for granted. I made a huge mistake. You certainly did. Right, you better be getting home, hadn't you? The kids will be wanting the pat lunches made, won't they? Oh, don't enjoy it. That's my prerogative, I'm afraid. And yes, it was very, very good toast. <laughs> well, listen, I hope you have better luck today, buddy. Thank you. Look, if you're sure you can't make it, there's a shindig in the bistro afterwards, there's a glass of fizz with yeah. your name on it. Oh, you are. I look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. See you later. So, it's true then, is it, eh? It's on, it's off, it's up, it's down. <laughs> you know, I wish you two would make up your mind. Getting married is a perfectly straightforward procedure, unless Leanne Battersby's involved. I mean, she's probably waiting now before she decides to see which way the wind is blowing and then she'll tie the knot. In other words, I wouldn't hold your breath. Doris, would you like to come to the wedding? Oh, yeah, 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 I'd love to. <laughs> Marsha, Adi, two minutes, breakfast, I'm not telling you again. Morning. Where the hell have you been? Oh, yeah, sorry, love, I meant to phone, but I go into playing this game of snooker and it completely went out of my head. Where did you sleep? Uh, on a very uncomfortable sofa. It was a cheap trick you played on, Jason. Oh, give over. He's a young lad. He can take a practical joke. Right, well, anyway, I'm off to bed. Uh, bring us up a cup of tea, will you, love? I'm making the kids breakfast. Well, then I'm going to take them to school. When do you get back, then? When I get back? I'm going to work. Why should I fetch and carry for you? You don't even tell me where you're going, you don't phone. I'd love to drop everything and go out on the lash, but I can't. Well, no, because you've got the kids to think about, but I haven't, so I can. Is that really how you see us? Oh, come here. I'm only winding you up. I had a few frames, that's all. I mean, it's a poor show if a bloke can't play a bit of snooker now and then. How are the kids, anyway? They OK? I'll bring you that couple when I get back. Yeah, you're a good girl. Adi, Asher, come down for your breakfast now. I need some peace and quiet. Is this one a bit...? Oh, I don't know. Mm. What shoes are you wearing? Oh, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Depends what I go for. I'd get married in these slippers if it came to it. Oh. Oh, any talk of honeymoon? Well, he told me to pack a weekend bag. He's booking it today. Oh. Well, how will you know what to pack? Wooly jumper, bikini, sunscreen scarf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Still no cigar? No, not yet. I believe it's a wedding day and she's literally deciding not to wear. Oh. oh, I'll buy a cake for you if you like. Oh, no, it's all right. Mary's onto it. <laughs> Mary? <laughs> what if she jumps out the cake? Oi, leave her alone. She's preparing all the food as a wedding presents to shut it. Nice. Right, I reckon this dress with these shoes. Oh, yeah, perfect. Care to come in? It's your funeral. Sorry, wedding. How are you going to be late for work? <laughs> oh, you mean I'm not invited? Are you even remotely serious? I think it's best you swerve it this time, don't you? Even you must understand that. <sighs> Mom, I really didn't want to go anywhere. Well, everybody's happy then, aren't they? Yeah, they are. In a bit. Bye. Right, where did I put that garter? <laughs> Who's doing her hair? Maria. It's madness. It's lunacy. Well, Leanne ain't my favourite person either, but what do they say? Love's blind. Have to be deaf and all mouth on her. All his life he's hung around waiting for her to make up her mind. He's like the wooden spoon and the whole world knows it. 
Well, it's the taking part that counts. I brought you up to have backbone, to stand up for yourself, to say enough's enough. I want some respect. Who's this talking now, us or you? All of us. Mum, it's all right for you. You've not got to come up with a best man speech in how many hours. Use the last one. It's in the bin. It's like a nodding dog. Can you remember any of the jokes? Well, yeah, I can't, but it's all Christmas related, like him unwrapping Leanne's stocking, that sort of stuff. Ugh. Is this milk off? I don't think so. It tastes weird. We're using a different coffee. Anyway, it might never happen. Got six and a half hours to change your mind. In Leanne years, that's a lifetime. Well, he said he'd never speak to you again. Idle threats. They're gonna go through with it, Mum, whether you boycott the wedding or not. So what exactly would you be achieving? I could leave her on the doorstep. In the rain. Oh, and that's really mature, isn't it? Go upstairs, put a frock on, fake smile for the pictures. I mean, you hated Kylie in the beginning, and look how that changed round. Besides, I haven't got an hat. Leanne ain't got a dress. Well, with her track record, why bother? You'll find the uh, nursing times one shelf up. You what? Putting a health professional's career in jeopardy. No, I didn't mean to. No, you didn't think. That's the trouble with your generation. You want everything and you want it now, and to hell with the cost. Norris, go and put kettle on. Oh. Here comes the bleeding heart. You know nothing about this. Are you all right, love? No, not really, Rita. Now, look, you take no notice of him or anybody else who doubts you. Yeah, but they're right, though, aren't they? I never for one second thought this would happen. She might lose a job. Well, if she's accusing you of lying, she deserves to. So, what, what are your plans for this morning? Uh, I just thought I had to bootle about. Carla says I don't have a story until next week. I don't know how they coped without you. Mm. You should sure like it. I shall grow into it, no doubt. You're a very difficult man to buy gifts for. I um, bumped into Mary this morning when I went to see Fizz. Oh, I trust Fizz liked her coasters. Well, you know, she's got bigger things on her mind. It's a shame that you and Mary fell out. She put our entire livelihood at risk. She was unreliable, unrepentant and totally untrustworthy. You must miss her, though. I miss you. Having someone to play chess with. I manage perfectly well with the computer, thank you. Oh, Leo, Lee. Hey. I was uh, just coming to see you. What for? Well, is there somewhere we can talk? Where better? Well, you're in a good mood. And what's with the old uh, Stazzy outfit, then? I'm just about to get my hair done and Maria's waiting. Oh, right, look, listen, it's only across the Pennines. What is it? Please, so I've had a good chat to Carla and we're both of the opinion that he's probably better all round. As long as we draw up a very thorough schedule because I want to see Simon every weekend without fail, right? Even if it means that I have to come to you and I'll take him to the park or something. Well, you can see him most weekends. In fact, you can see him most days because we're not going. Oh, you, OK, right, well, well, that's good. And when were you going to tell me this? Because I've spent half the night worrying about it. I'm getting married instead. What? Four o'clock today. He said yes. He's a man from Del Monte. It's a mistake. Well, I wasn't asking for your blessing. Now I need to get my hair done, so is that everything? Oh, uh, yes, everything. Thank you. Oh. Good luck. I won't need it. It's lovely to have you back. Well, you know, I never really did get on with the Palm Springs Desert Sun. <laughs> but how exotic. Well, <laughs> then for dessert, there's a choice of mousse, a sour lemon cheesecake or French tart. Yeah. That sounds lovely, Mary. <laughs> the only problem is there's a lot to prepare and time is of the essence. Oh, well, 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 I'd love to help you, of course, but... Unfortunately, I've been invited to the wedding. Uh, on top of which, as you well know, I don't know the first thing about fancy baking. Bye, Rita. Bye. She's always been too busy. She works hard. That job is her life. She's never had time for men or boys. Yeah, but I suppose there are some physiotherapists who've got husbands or boyfriends. I've been asking around about Sophie. A little madam, by all accounts. Is she now? Who told you that? Oh, never you mind. I got my sources. So listen, how many boyfriends has Jenna actually had? Yeah, all right, Nobby. Yeah, I'll see you this afternoon then, love. All right, trap. 
who with that? Just somebody who might be interested in taking the McNeese order off us. Nobby? You know Nobby. Oh, Nobby, that had the stall next to Ali. Yes. You know what? I thought I'd be at the top of my game by now. I thought I'd be supplying proper designers, attending Fashion Week, and instead, I am palming knickers off to Nobby O'Callaghan. Yeah, but aren't they all McNeese? They'll trace it. They'll trace it. The pants, please. <laughs> Listen, they gave us a go-ahead, didn't they? We started production. They pulled out, so... Yeah, but how much is Nobby going to give us? Don't ask. Let's just say it's all uphill from here, eh? Chocolate-covered Brazil nuts. To say thank you. Did she bite your head off? She might as well have put a propeller in the doorway. Hmm. Oh, chocolate covered Brazil nuts. You still know how to push my buttons, don't you? Are we getting changed into something more appropriate? I'm undecided. Oh, got a heavy schedule this afternoon, have you? I might attack a large pile of iron. Gail, today isn't about you. You were there on Christmas Day. I mean, has the world gone mad? He's putting his head in the noose again. Why should I stand around and watch? And how do you think Nick's going to take this? <sighs> Might make him think twice. Look, we support our children unconditionally. Huh. Yet most of the time. I mean, David's made more mistakes than you can shake a stick at. Sarah went and got herself pregnant and you stood by them. It's different. And then there's Curly. I mean, oh. Imagine having her as one of the family, but she is. And we do our best to love her despite everything. So just go and get changed, show willing. Otherwise, you know, Nick may turn his back on you. And then where will you be? <laughs> Welcome. Oof. Nick's killing me after a night on that thing. <laughs> yeah, I hate sleeping on sofas. Well, you've never had to. You're too well behaved. Hey, get some needs to give you a massage. Mm. Help yourself. I wish I still lived here with you. I'd give anything. The grass is always greener. There is no grass where I am. It's all gravel. Them's the brakes. One moment of madness, eh? <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't one moment, was it, Carl? It was lots of moments behind my back. Oh, Nick's giving your Leanne another crack. What about me? <laughs> I'm glad how things have turned out, Carl. I couldn't be gladder. Business is booming. I've got a 29-year-old builder on my arm. <laughs> yeah, well, that won't last. Well, compared to what? What did I have this time last year? I had a man who stole from me. I had a man who run up debts against my pub, a gambler, a waster and a cheat. I'm just glad you never saw my text that night, otherwise where would we be now? Hang on a minute, hang on. What text? I thought you were picking the boys up. I was. I am. Well, put some trousers on then. Yeah, listen to this. I've known my brother Nick since the minute I was born. David, we're supposed to be picking them up in 12 minutes time. Yeah, well I can be at Bessie Street in eight. Yeah, put these on. Well, I really wanted to run this by. I've not finished. But you've got to get them via the main doors. Go into the office and ask that secretary with the weird glasses. Drop Simon off at the pub and bring Matt straight back here. His clothes will be laid out on his bed. Oh, what about my speech? Do I care? <sighs> I didn't imagine it, Lloyd. She said we'd got too close. And then when she suggested transferring my care to someone else, I knew why. At least I thought I did. So what, you made a move? Yes, but she responded. She kissed me back. And I was happy. And then my dad walked in. But I did not tell him to report her. There's a disciplinary hearing penciled in. Yes, I know this. And I know I've got to go through it with them all. And that's the last thing I want to do. Look, you can tell when somebody likes you back. Yeah, sometimes. I think she's gay. As far as I know, she isn't. I just don't want her to get sacked. No, me neither, kid. 
can get off now. Mm. Dev, have you got any plasters? They're back here with me, Liam. Mm. That was some stunty pull last night. It was just a bit of fun that got out of hand, that's all. You know, I'm surprised my mum didn't just kick him out. When I went to bed, he was curled up on the sofa, snoring like a pig. Two pound thirty, please. Do you know, I've tried my shoes on, but they're rubbing me somewhat rotten. Eliane, hey, have you got something borrowed and something blue? Well, Gail's mood is blue. I borrowed a necklace from Deirdre. Mm -hmm. My dress is old, my shoes are old, and these are new. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> you know what? I think it's probably time you got a wriggle on this. Uh, oh, I've got an hour and a half. But do you know what? Can't come quick enough. Oh, oh and Leanne, good luck. <laughs> you know, I almost wish that you and Carl were faring better because to hear it was all for nothing. It was... wasn't all for nothing. He didn't come home last night, did he? Look, me and Carl have hit a bump in the road, OK? But everything's going to be fine. You know, I should have got some of those flowers that go in your buttonholes. See why you should go to any bother. Oh, Mum, will you give it a rest? Well, first it's Las Vegas and none of us are invited. Then we give up our Christmas day. I've not changed my position on this, David. No, really? Just because I'm going doesn't mean I approve. Right, well, why are you going, then? <sighs> because I'm compliant. That's why. Because I'm a sap, a pushover. I'll see you over there. See ya. Can we go now? Yes. Well, as soon as your mum's ready. Hey, do you want me to style your hair with that new moose? No. All right, suit yourself. Are you going to get off your backside then, or what? Oh, I really don't feel well. Her head's pounding. Well, tough. Go put some slap on. We ain't got much time now. Oh, I think it's a migraine. I can hardly see. I'm going to go upstairs, have a lie down, shut my eyes for a few hours. If I feel any better, I'll come to the reception later on. Well, you look all right to me. I'm not coming, David. Why have you got to keep picking away at me? Oh, I'm sorry, Max. Come here. Mummy's just tired. I've got a headache. Come on, make him a sandwich, will you, before you go? Who knows what time you'll be eating. It's, it's typical. If it means a little less aggro, I'm happy to go through with it. You make a decision and yet again, your family talk you out of it. Why do you always have to compromise? I wish you had the courage to sow some backbone. Mum? Nick? You changed your mind? No. I'm sorry. I don't think I have. This is folly. I stand by what I said. And if you're determined to go through with it, then you can count me out. You got dressed in everything. Women. Why would I? As a gesture of goodwill, as, as an act of magnanimousness, magnanimity. Which is it? Why would I close my own cafe in order to assist someone who nearly ruined my business? To prepare food in the kitchen of a competitor for a wedding that we weren't even invited to. I believe that's checkmate. Because she needs you. If you feel so strongly, perhaps you should offer your own services. Oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs with puddings and pies. And anyway, you're obviously missing the point. Anna's due in any minute. And between Mary here, we can... has let us down. I respect your decision. I apologise for interfering. I'll go and see how that grind's getting on. Honestly, your mother, I could throttle her. Oh, here they are, finally. Where's the missus? You know, she's not coming. Another one. Why not? Well, she says she's got a headache, but I thought she looked all right. <sighs> There's always something, isn't there? Is it too much to ask that we're all in the same place at the same time to celebrate a family wedding? Don't have a go at me, Grammy. We're all together at the same place and the same time on Christmas Day, if you want to get pernickety. No, I don't want to get pernickety. Well, then, wasn't our fault then. Not that it was... OK, let's not get into that. I really hope this don't backfire on us, you know. Stop being such an old woman. Go in Nobby's house or the market. Are you for real? I wouldn't set a foot inside Nobby's house for the tea in China. He's still married to Nolene, you know. Oh, I remember it. <laughs> yeah. oh. Ladies. Where'd you get that from? It's a lease car. Why? Oh, it's 
knickers. Oh, plenty of knickers and plenty of contracts to manufacture and sell them. How about you? We're cutting it fine. Yeah, where's it going to change? Well, we'll find a telephone box somewhere and he'll rip off his fluorescent jacket and <laughs> throw his stick away. Yeah, DC Comics missed a trick with that one. <laughs> right, cab's here. <sighs> Do I look all right? You look best than you did on Christmas Day. Is that a compliment? You look happy. Yeah, I am. It shows. Did you take sight of the bistro? Yep, and Gail isn't coming. Oh, right. Oh, you know what? I'm glad. Who needs her sour face bringing everybody down? <laughs> right. Are you ready? Just try and stop me. <laughs> Is Mum here? She was. She went out again. Shouldn't you be gone by now? David said you were ill. I was. I'm trying to have a lie down. I'm really sorry, but I can't sit through a ceremony. Uh, you're shaking. I can't stand up. I feel sick. Oh, is this because... It's in the past. It was a one-off, a mistake. We're always going to feel guilty about it. But that's something we're going to have to live with. What happened, happened. We've got to forget about it, look forward and get on with our lives. That's all very well, Nick. Except I'm pregnant. And Coronation Street continues in half an hour.